It's summer in the forest and all is well, but the pigs have secrets, a wicked tale to tell. I'm not Stormzy, I'm not Shakespeare, enough with the rhymes already. I got you a story about three little pigs and a big bad wolf. Larry Trotter is the youngest of the three cousins. Just don't ask him if he's got friends called Hermione and Ron. Jill lost a bet with Larry once and had to change her name to Zingy Sausage. She got used to it. Chris P is the eldest of the cousins. She will stop at nothing to get her hands on the family fortune. And when I say nothing, I mean nothing. Is that for Wolf Agency? I'm looking for a wolf for a messy job. What kind of wolf? Definitely not small. Medium's no good. Yeah, big sounds great. But make sure he's really good. Put in a bad kind of way, if you know what I mean. Great. Send me one big bad wolf straight away. Soon, the family fortune will be mine, and those idiot cousins of mine will be on the shelves of Tesco and in picnic baskets across the land. Mwahahaha! <laughs> Can you believe this girl booking a wolf to eat her own cousins? I mean, I pinched one of the cousins' gobstoppers once, but this is ridiculous. That cousin of mine, Crispy, she gets worse and worse. Yesterday she tried to get me to sign a paper saying the Iggle Piggle fortune should go to her. Our dads built the Iggle Piggle company together. It belongs to all of us. I'd rather end up in a sandwich than give it all to her. Oh no, Larry. What did you go say that for? Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Wouldn't mind a gaff round here myself. Is that a wolf? I better go in. Good job that I have this fine house of straw to live in. You know the story, right? Let me in. Not on the hair of my chinny chin chin. I'll huff and I'll puff, yada yada. Did my cousin send you? <laughs> Don't look. Oh. Poor Larry. You know, I'm thinking of changing my name back to Jill. Every time I introduce myself as Miss Sausage, people start to dribble. That's the last time I buy a roast dinner at that butcher's. My cousin Larry is coming over later. I'll go get some flowers for the table. And here we are at Crispy's mansion. She already has money. What a greedy pig. And now she'll get the whole Iggle Piggle fortune. Or will she? Excellent. You really are a great wolf agency. If I know anyone else who needs a wolf. Actually, Little Red Riding Hood said she wanted to surprise her nan for her birthday. I'll get her to call you. Sure. Cash on delivery. Cheers. Here it is, all the money I've stolen over the years. Mwahahaha! <laughs> ah, Mrs. Wolf, great to see you. With you in a sec. Job go okay? It was very filling. Fulfilling. Is the money all here? It is, but it ain't enough. Really? I counted it myself. Well, I'm thinking I'll take the money, the house, and a bacon sarnie. Funnily enough, we don't serve bacon. Oh. Oh. And the moral of the story is, it doesn't matter what your house is made of if you're not in it with the doors locked when the wolf comes round. Jeez! Don't forget to invite me over for dinner sometime.